So right now, what I'll do is um, let me just I can just leave this one and move over to the uh, generator part of Modeler. So in here, what I'll do is I just want to text, test now what are the uh, limitations of this city block and how actually how they actually convert from from the regulations of the city or from the zoning ordinance to actual 3d development now of course in the end what i want to do is i want to craft this space and make sure that we are we are uh, uh, in the end creating a high quality urban design but as an initial step we might want to use the generator just to quickly produce something to give us an impression of the density of what the rules allow. So, uh, and this can even be even more useful when working on a, on a, uh, on a planning side when we are deciding about what should be the rules of the city blocks and quickly testing them and making sure that what we are prescribing for the zoning ordinance will actually work well in the practice so uh, with this in mind let me just change the parameters of of this city block let me check what is the height of this building here is 36 meters so let's go and set the per maximum permitted height for this city block to 36 and let's say the far could be uh, 2.5 uh, just an assumption for the city block. Now, once we have the rules for the city block set, I can just go here and click on the generate button. And now what Modeler will do is it will just randomly place the buildings into the city block. And if I'm not satisfied with the result, I can just easily erase them and regenerate a solution again. Maybe this one works better. And it can also be a good starting point to just start modifying the buildings. Now, what you can see is, why is it exceeding the FAR? Oh, the whole plot is exceeded, yeah. So let me go back here to switch from the city block survey to the F, uh, to, uh, uh, to city block survey from the whole plot. So you can see now the FAR is 2.14, site coverage is 24. So basically what this generator does is it tries to get to the limitations um, and then uh, it still gives you maybe some room to, to even expand some of the buildings and serve as a, as a starting point for, for your development. Now, Basically, what we want to have here is just a click button solution where you can quickly produce some results. So let me just go here, delete those buildings and go regenerate it again. I get a different kind of solution. Uh, soon we will be adding an option to add also the perimeter block type. So meaning that the, the buildings will be put around the city block. For now, we have this one that is based on the random grid. But even for this one, if you need more control, you can go to Tools, Massing Generator. And this will bring up the Massing Generator option where you can set more details about how the generator works if, if you need them. So right now, maybe the maximum building length shouldn't be 80 meters, but maybe 60. And then I want to add uh, more users to what's being generated here. So right now we are having the default, which is in this case, we have the residential use assigned to the city block. Uh, then we are adding the service buildings and let's go and also add maybe some parking. So, and the parking should be in ratio three to, against three and then two. So generate. Now we can see that we, we have a new solution generator generated and what modeler tries to do is you can see here um, actually let me go to this one like that you can see that it tries to roughly match the ratio of users that we have assigned to it um, and again by no means is this meant as a as a something that could be regarded as a high quality but more as a something that uh, just gives me quickly an impression of what the rules would what those rules of the city block would actually allow you to build here. Uh, and then we believe that 
this is a good first step, but then in the end, you should use Modeler as a kind of a last mile tool where you actually craft the space for, for the people.